we continue our lecture with a uh, chapter 3 which is atomic structure and periodicity and should be in this topic uh, student uh, should be learn about what is electromagnetic waves and radiation Planck's quantum theory Bohr's theory of the hydrogen atom and Ryberg equation and quantum mechanics and quantum numbers Pauli exclusion Hans rule and Aufbau principle and atomic orbital and electron configuration and paramagnetism and dimagnetism. So upon completion of this course, students should be able to solve problem using Ryberg equation, determine the quantum number for orbital and explain the meaning of orbital symbols, and draw and write orbital diagram and electronic configuration using correct principle. Okay, uh, basically this is the structure of uh, subatomic particle which contain a proton, proton, neutron and electron. Okay, what is the atomic symbol? Uh, atomic symbol consists of element symbol, atomic number, mass number and number 3 we will discuss on isotope. So electromagnetic radiation is uh, referring to the light energy of wave. And the uh, speed of the light is equal to 2.9979 times to the power of 8 meter per second. And how about wave or oscillation is uh, referring to the systematic fluctuation in intensity of electrical and magnetic forces. And for the wavelength, what is the wavelength? It's referring to the distance between the Two successive peak or throw unit is equal to a meter. Okay, here is the wavelength between the peak and the frequency is the number of wave per second that pass a given point in space, and the unit is a hertz, and this is the unit for a speed of light three to the power uh, of eight meter per second this is the formula which you can uh, relate with uh, the speed of light and wave and also frequency c equal to lambda times v and what is amplitude amplitude is uh, referring to the intensity of wave and the nodes is referring to the points of zero amplitude this is the node when the value of the amplitude is a zero and the amplitude is here maximum and minimum height of the peak. Okay. Example, the bright red color in firework is due to the emission of light when strontium uh, nitride is heated. If the wavelength is uh, 650 nanometer, what is the frequency of this light? You need to use this formula. Uh, v equal to C over lambda. C is representing the speed of light. Value the speed of light is 2.9979 times to the power of 8 divided by the value of lambda is given in the question here. 650 times to the power of negative 9 meter. So 1 nanometer is equal to negative 9 meter. So you get the frequency is uh, 4.0. 6 1 times to the power of 14 hertz. Or you cancel, cancel the unit you get per second. Or others uh, valid uh, unit for frequency is hertz. And the wavelength of the green light from a traffic light signal is centered at 5 to 2 nanometer. This is the value for lambda. And what is the frequency? You need to calculate the frequency V equal to C over lambda. Then 3 to the power of 8. Uh, uh, to the power of 8 is referring to the speed of light. Speed of light and divided by 5.22 times to the power of negative 7 meter. And here is the value for frequency. Okay, uh, this is your turn. Astro broadcast at the frequency of 880 kilohertz. 
what is the wavelength of the signal lambda of, of uh, equal to c over frequency c is the speed of light divided by the frequency is kilohertz kilohertz is equal to 10 to the power of 3 okay then you get the answer is uh, so you need to to calculate then you need to choose uh, what is the answer okay what is the wavelength emitter of electronic magnetic wave whose frequency is 3.64 uh, times to, to the power of 7 hertz okay here the the value given is referring to um is a wave uh, frequency frequency is this value is referring to v and the value for lambda you need to find the value for lambda c is equal to this one okay you need to divided 3 times to the power of 8 divided by this value then try to check your answer is it you get this value or not for the wavelength and for electromagnetic spectrum, it consists of all frequency of light and divided into regions according to wavelength of radiation. This is the low energy and long wave. This is high energy and short wave. And invisible light is, uh, we consider as it cannot be seen by naked eye and it includes gamma rays, x-ray, ultraviolet, UV, uh, infrared and microwave. And for visible light that you can see by your naked eye, such as white light, separate into a continuous spectrum of color. For example, the color of rainbow, you have seven colors. And it can pass us to a prism, exists at lambda uh, between 400 to 750 nanometer. And when the element, for example, sodium and helium are used as a source of light, a characteristic line spectrum is observed. And quantum theory state that light is emitted in the form of discrete or definite pack called quantum. And the frequency of light V is proportional to the energy. Energy equal to H is the Planck constant. This value is constant, eh? This we call as H. H is the constant value for the Planck. Planck constant equal to 6.63 times to the power of negative 34 joule second times frequency. And for the line spectra, it consists only a few of discrete line and also called atomic spectrum or emission spectrum. Or each, each element has unique emission spectrum. Hydrogen atomic spectra is the simplest form of atomic spectra and electron of hydrogen atom occupy certain allowed energy level which designated by N. N is equal to principal quantum number and the wavelength of spectral lines can be calculated using the Ryberg equation. What is the Ryberg equation? You need to memorize this equation. This equation is representing Rybert. Rybert is a name based on the scientist, scientist uh, with uh, event which uh, come out with this equation. And it uh, is called uh, based on his name and come out with the name Rybert equation. Rybert equation uh, is 1 over lambda equal to RH is uh, representing Rybert equation constant. Uh, in the bracket of 1 divided by n1 times uh, power of 2 minus 1 divided by n2 to the power of 2 and then you close the close the bracket. What is the value for Rybert constant? So the value for Rybert constant normally is fixed same as a Planck constant. So, normally you need to memorize these two constant, Planck constant, Ryberg constant and also uh, the, the value for speed of light. And the, this is the lambda which is representing the wavelength of light emitted and N1 and N2 is referring to whole number integer from 1 to infinite 
where n2 is more than n1. Means that the value for n2, n2 is more than n1. Should be n1 is 1. And then after that, n2 should be more than 1. Should be 2, 3, 4 and so forth. Can be used to calculate all spectral lines of hydrogen. And this is the problem related to the Ryberg equation. Uh, consider the Balmer series where N1 equal to 2. And calculate the lambda in nanometer here. You need to find this value for the transition from N2 is 6 down to N1 equal to 2. Means then the electron move from here, it transit from... Uh, 6 to 2. So here is 1 divided by 2 to the power of uh, 2, 6 to the power of 2. Then here you need to put the value for Ryberg constant. Then you get the value for lambda is 20. Uh, you get this value is lambda 410.3 nanometer. Violet line in spectrum. Why you said violet? Because the value is 400, as you can see here. 410 uh, nanometer is around this uh, region. So, the color should be in violet color. So, because here in uh, violet region, it stay here around 4 nanometer. Okay, uh, what is the wavelength of light in nanometer that is emitted when an excited electron? Excited means that it it move from, uh, it em emit from uh, in the hydrogen atom form from N5 to N3. So, you need to find the answer. And uh, we continue to the Bohr's theory of hydrogen atom. This, is, this theory is invented by a scientist named Niels Bohr and it is um, uh, derived out on 1913 and state that electron exists in a series of shell and has specific energy level, levels and orbit about the nucleus much like the way planets orbit the sun. And energies of electron are quantized and energy of an electron in a given shell. So E n equal to the negative Rh times the brackets 1 divided by n to the power of 2. This, this is the emit photon, photon from shell. So you have how many shell here? 1, 2, 3, 4. From shell 4 to shell 3. This is the absorbed photon uh, from shell 3 to 4. When it em emits, it normally emits from uh, highest number of shell to, to the outer shell into the inside shell here from in, in, uh, in shell to the outer shell. So the value here is much more smaller to this one. Here is larger to this one. Okay, outside, this is inside shell. This outer shell, outer out, out, outer outer shell, outer shell to inside shell. We call as emit photon. Inside shell to outer shell, we call as absorb photon. And line spectrum of atomic spectrum. Line spectrum consists of discrete line of different wavelength. And what is emission spectrum? Produced by heating atomic vapor. And after that, the electron excited. And then it becomes unstable and falls to lower energy level because it wants to destabilize the, the energy. And after that, the light emit and pass through prism and series of wavelength lines. Form. And for absorption spectrum, it will produce by passing the white light from a source to the unexcited sample that absorbs certain wavelength of light 
dark line appear on the continuous right background. Basically, when the question asks you to describe the process of emission spectrum and the process involved absorption spectrum, you should have all, all these points. Okay. And line spectrum of hydrogen atom consists of an electric, electric discharge is passed through a gas discharge tube containing hydrogen. And the high energy electron from the negative electrode to positive electrode collide with the hydrogen molecule. And it causes the hydrogen molecule to dissociate into hydrogen atom. Maksudnya hydrogen molecule dipecahkan menjadi hydrogen atom and it emits mancarkan light. When they emit light is passed, when they emit apabila cahaya yang dipancarkan tu, it pass through a prism, the light is dispersed, dia akan uh, berpecah, disperse and separate into its components. Maksudnya kat sini, gas discharge tube containing hydrogen into the slit and prism, it separate into certain wavelength and it will produce certain color of light. And transition of electron between two energy level produce line. And there are several emission series of line obtained during this transition and are classified according to which level the electrons drop. In the series of linemen, if N1, so the N2 should be, the value for N2 should be more than N1. It should be 2, 3, 4 and so forth. And the spectrum region should be ultraviolet for Balmer series N2. So, it will be 3, 4, 5, Paschen 3, it will be 4, 5, 6, bracket 4, it will be 5, 6, 7, here is 5, it will be 6, 7, 8 and so forth. The spectrum region is in infrared for Paschen 2, for fun. For Balma, it, is, it will be in spectrum region of visible light. This is alignment. From 8 to 6, it can uh, transport from shell n equal to 8 to n equal to 1. So, for Balmer, it can transport from n equal to 8 only n equal to 2. And it will be re it will keep reducing until for a fun series, it only can be trans uh, uh, transit from n8 equal to uh, n, n equal to 8 only n equal to 5 so what is the Rybert equation or we call as energy Rybert state that the difference between the energy e2 minus e1 equal to hv hv is the Planck constant times the frequency or equal to h uh, v you need to substitute with uh, C over, you can substitute C over lambda. And this is the Rybert equation. This uh, I already explained on previous slide. 1 over lambda equal to the negative RH. 1 to uh, divided by N2 to the power of 2 minus 1 over N1 to the power of 2. Okay, this is the sample problem one. Okay, if the electron of hydrogen atom had initially been in its six bore orbit, determine the frequency of electromagnetic radiation emit if it forms a line spectrum in the Paschen series. Okay, Paschen series is here. Here is Paschen series. So, 1 over lambda equal to negative Rh. This is the Heiberg uh, constant. Heiberg constant. Uh, Heiberg constant is... Um, okay, Heiberg constant uh, given, is given... The value equal to 1.097 times to the power of 7. Yeah, this one is fixed. Okay, you put here and 1 over 
6 to the power of 2 where you get, get 6 because the shell is state here is 6 initially initially 6 to why 6 to 3 how do you know this one uh, this uh, value is 3 so let's see the Pascan series when you have stick it will transmit to 3 so always remember the the end uh, shell is 3 although it start from 8 7 6 5 but always remember the final shell it stop at n equal to So here is 3. And 2 is the energy level is uh, normally high eh, compared to N1, the, this energy level. So you get here is uh, per meter. Then you need to calculate for the value for the V. So you get the final answer is 2.74 times to the power of 14 per second. And this is the Rybert equation energy. If the electron jumps from uh, jumps from higher energy level N2 with E2 to a lower energy level N1 with E1, the difference in energy is given by the equation E2 minus E1 to HV equal to negative RH this uh, equation. Rybert constant is given here. Okay, what is the difference between this Rybert constant here and this Rybert constant here? Because here, this Rybert constant involves the difference in energy. So, this value is quite different to this one. Okay, uh, so let's see the sample problem 2. A hydrogen atom absorbs a photon of visible light and its electrons enters the N equal to 4 energy level. Calculate the change in energy of atom and wavelength and convert to nanometer. Uh, what is N1 is equal to 2 and 2 is equal to Hydrogen atom absorb a photon or visible light and its electron. So, which uh, series it follow? Uh, four. Bolmer, uh, Bolmer, four to two. Because, uh, let's say what, uh, what is a Bolmer? What is Bolmer? Bomber two, two. Here hydrogen, right? An electric discharge uh, containing hydrogen. So, Bomer is uh, it stayed here from 4 to 2, right? This uh, solution. Okay, here is a 4 and here is 2. So, here is uh, the constant, private constant is 2.18. When this formula has the difference, you need to use this constant. If start from 1 over lambda, this value for Rh is different. Then you get the difference for energy is 4.09 times to the power of negative 19 Joule.
and for uh, for the solution of the wavelength and convert to nanometer so here you just substitute the value for delta e here and here is the value for h constant times to the speed of light then you get for 86 nanometer